The couple tells me this all started on March 26th when much of our area saw hail, including Northwest Indiana. But the couple says State Farm told them there was no hail that day and they would not be covering their roof. So they called me to get on this case. It's the last thing any homeowner wants to deal with, roof damage. But that's what Irma and Alan Johnson say they were up against after severe weather swept through St. John, Indiana. There was hail and it was one inch size hail. It looked like there had been like a half inch to one inch snowstorm. It's going to be loud and it's going to be, you know, kind of shocking. ABC 7 meteorologist Greg Dutra tracking the storms on March 26th as hail came down throughout our viewing area. A lot of hail, a lot of it pea size to dime size, but there were some pennies and quarters reported. As the hail came down, the Johnsons say all they could think about was their roof. I thought that, you know, we should get it checked and make sure there's no problems or anything. But there were problems. The couple says a contractor came out and identified hail strikes, shingles that were lifting and cracking. They were advised to get the roof replaced to avoid leaks. The cost? More than $19,000. Their next move? Calling their insurance company, State Farm. When the adjuster was here, after doing the inspection, he said there was damage and they would have to get an estimate together. And that adjuster disappeared. The couple says State Farm sent out another adjuster who had a much different take on their roof. He said, you know, basically mostly you have wear and tear. And there is a little damage, about $500. Your deductible is more than that. So basically you're not going to get anything. He said, there hasn't been hail in St. John since 2022. According to the National Weather Service, there were several reports of hail in northwest Indiana on March 26th, including one inch size hail in St. John. Who are we dealing with? This is a company that we expect it to be reputable responsible and they have worn us out. Getting ready for some hail. The couple says despite the hail reports, they were still denied by State Farm. We were hoping that you could help. I reached out to State Farm and a spokesperson responded, saying in part, quote, with any claim, State Farm seeks to provide our customer all benefits to which they are entitled within the terms of the insurance policy. We continue to actively work with our customer on their claim to understand the facts of the loss, identify the damages and applicable coverage, and ultimately resolve their claim. I think it was within two days that we were told, oh, there's a new adjuster and he's going to come out. The couple says the new adjuster examined the roof and agreed to cover the cost. They say he wrote them a check on the spot for $17,908.67. Sam was on our side. We are happy that we called you. Somebody listened. State Farm tells me they pride themselves in their customer service and are committed to paying what they owe promptly, courteously, and efficiently. Now, if you find yourself in the Johnson situation, take as many pictures and videos as possible once the storm passes through. Document as much as you can. Get an estimate of the damage from a trusted contractor. If you feel your insurance company is lowballing you, you can report it to your state's Department of Insurance, in this case, Indiana. And if you still aren't getting results, I want you to give me a call. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.